This is Cytoscape 371, and today we're going to look at making animations using the SciAnimator app. I went ahead and opened the sample session file called the Yeast Perturbation, and next we will install the SciAnimator app. Go to the Apps menu, click on App Manager. You can just begin typing SciAnimator, and that'll filter the list. Click Install, and there it is. Go back to the apps menu and you'll find SciAnimator. And the user interface is simply going to be a collection of keyframes that we get to define. And then SciAnimator will interpolate or animate between them to make a small movie. The keyframes are defined by exactly what you see in your network window, including the zoom level, whatever's cut off, whatever is visible, whatever node fill coloring you have, etc. So let's go ahead and add our first frame. You'll see it's a thumbnail of exactly that view. Say we want to focus on MCM1. The next thing we might want in our animation is to then zoom in so we can position that exactly how we want it and then define our next frame. And now we can click play to see how CyAnimator would animate between those two over and over and over again. Double click on a frame to get back to where you were at any position. And the next thing we might want to do is hide everything that's not directly connected to MCM1. So we could select, a, select MCM1, find its first neighbors. Let's also select the edges that are adjacent to these nodes. And now we can, under the select menu again, hide everything that's unselected. Clicking off of that, there's our MCM1 and the things directly connected to it. That'll be our next keyframe. And then there's a number of data values associated with these nodes in the sample data uh, sample session file. So under style, we can expand fill color and see that we have gal 1r G expression currently mapped as continuous variable. We can click on it and choose 4R, add a keyframe, and there's another one called ADR expression, add another keyframe. And uh, another thing we can do is add annotations under the annotation tab. We could add a bounded text annotation that says we can spell out the name of MCM1. We can give it any font size we want, font face. Um, the bounded box can have any color we want, transparency, a little border. And there's a preview of what that's going to look like. And then our cursor becomes active again to position the size of it. And if we have annotation selection enabled, we can then move and position this as a label. There we go. Let's go ahead and make that our last frame. Okay, I've added to the end. Again, you can click play to get a sense of what this is going to look like. Zoom in, change data, add a label. And finally, we can click record to make the movie. I'm just going to put it in the default position, some default settings of how many frames you want between each keyframe. And the resolution, we'll just keep all the defaults. And it'll take a second now to make that MP4, which you can then post online, share with colleagues, put in your PowerPoint presentations, etc.